Welcome back everybody to the adventures of Big Brain, Sean, and his mate Dave. Yesterday we managed to fortify their home neighborhood against the zombie menace, and I think we did a pretty good job. We got some very good gear as well, very good weapons, and quite a nice little compound with some uh, some decent little bits here. Picked up a battery, picked up an electric stove, we got a bedroom for everyone along with some decent furniture too. The zombies did turn up a lot quicker, and I didn't really give them enough time to be able to grab everything that we found, which was kind of the biggest letdown of yesterday. Particularly dealing with with that one dude with power armor in the first couple of raiders as well, really set us back quite a lot. That and I did kind of overextend the, the distance of which people were traveling. But all things considered, it's a very, very fantastic start, and a lot of you seem to agree with that. So, we've got two sets of power armor. We could potentially send these guys out to go and really pick through the city. I mean, Sean and Dave, with this power armor, are almost invincible. They can only be bitten in the head they could only be obviously not from raiders or anything like that but from zombies only being bitten in the head is gonna uh, is gonna stop them here now how do we want to deal with this how do we want to start obviously getting survival is very important i think from my perspective what i'm looking at is let's start with power that's probably the most important thing now the, the downside is of course we don't have components so i think we're gonna have to immediately head out we're gonna head straight out of this wall here so we, we, this is the plan send dave send sean send them together if we have to send them up through the main entrance unbrick it and then brick it back up the second they leave and then unbrick it when they return just to ensure that this isn't going to be overrun move them south immediately into this building dismantle the ground penetrating scanner between the two of them try and carry everything back that should give us some components and i believe some advanced components as well with the ground penetrating scanner that should allow us to build a, a starting wind turbine we could dismantle the comms console if it's necessary i'm trying to keep that because i think having a comms console this early on if we can build a trade beacon that puts in a fantastic situation we could just craft a bunch of jackets craft a bunch of you know art sculptures whatever sell it to trade ships to come past trade it for shit that we actually need like for example more components that's going to be our source of infinite resources one thing i didn't check as well is are we near anywhere we can quarry because if not we are really really going to struggle for resources this time around and we're not really are we um if we expand the wall out very slightly into the street, we could stick down a quarry there, which actually works quite well. Um, we need to have, like, the walls ready to go, though. We definitely need to be a bit more prepared. We've got a bunch of doors, but we just need walls basically ready, like I said. Um, that way we can very quickly run out, set it all up, and sort of cordon off the zombies. If we could build an expansion across to this natural wall, and then also across from here to this natural wall, that could work very, very well, because then it opens up this entire area for farming, building, whatever we want to do. Plus, we could also dig into the mountain, which could work very, very nicely. There's a little expansion over to, into here, and, and sort of these areas of the map, too. Anyway, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's give them a little bit more time to heal up, first and foremost, because obviously both of them are still massively injured here. Dave's on a mental breakdown as well. He's going to go hide in his bedroom. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. One thing I have done is I've lowered the home area so that they're not going to immediately rush out and try and obviously tidy up places the second the wall comes down. I've also uh, turned off the auto expansion of home area so that when we run over and, and claim and uninstall things, we're not automatically including that in our home zone because that would suck. I've, oh, where's that spawned in? Uh, okay, down in the core map. We don't really need to care about that one too much. One thing I have done as well is um, I've claimed everything within our compound. So I've gone to every wall, every door, and obviously just dragged over it, made sure it was all claimed. That way we can also automatically repair it, but it will also stop ran random animals basically walking in as well, which should help things quite nicely. I can hear toxic splash of zombies. So one thing I'm thinking of doing, God knows if this will work, it, this might be a, a, a top tier genius brain strat. We build a wall here, we build an embrasure there, and then we reinstall it into this south wall. That way, this wall is never going to go down, and we can build it instantly. Then we can also get vision. We can have Big Brain stand there as a spotter. Um, in fact, we'll build it all along these outside walls. In fact, all of the outside walls should be embrasures, ideally. But have them as spotters, seeing out into the world, so that we can time it for when we want to go and grab this ground penetrating scanner. Might also want to grab that chest table, too, now that I've seen it. It's probably a really good idea in hindsight. So we'll try and do that in a second, but obviously we've got, uh, we've got to wait for everyone to sort of heal up first. So Dave's back up. We, I, I want his mood to obviously increase a little bit before we send him out on potentially a death mission there. He should have catharsis for a while, so when that picks back up, we should be fine. He's got a little bit of dehydration, so he does need to go down to the well and get himself a little bit of drink. I think if we install this door over here as well, it'll save just a little bit of time to stop them, uh, stop them having to run all the way around. In fact, it would literally be quicker for him to install a door so that he can get outside rather than walk all the way around. That's how ridiculous this is. Deconstructing steel wall. There we go. Lovely. Now, the zombies are going buck wild on all the wild animals because, of course, there's no other food source for them. So, they are going pretty fucking nuts over there. Oh. This is interesting. There must be some raiders or something outside fighting the zombies for us. That's good because that means it's going to clear up the way. But, obviously, the downside of that is we've also got to worry about dealing with raiders. Raider guns, obviously, much more likely to kill us than zombies at this stage unless it's a particularly massive horde. Let's also start working on... Uh, Sean, you're repair, aren't you? Um... Sean, I, I would rather have you on deconstruct right now, my man. 
because we got so much roof that we don't need. Once we get rid of all this roof, we can uninstall these walls, and that can be... I think we might even want to build that minor expansion I talked about first, because with a quarry, we can get compacted machinery, and that might allow us to get the components that we need. Probably not the best plan, but hey, it's uh, we've got a lot of other shit to be doing as well, obviously digging up the farms. But to be fair, I mean, should we just go for rice to start off with, actually? Let's plant some rice to start off with just a sort of our basic farm. Big, big Brain can work on that today. She's already got nothing else to do. Oh, God, that sucks. That really does suck, huh? Psychic drone mail. Okay. Um... Not fantastic. Not fantastic. I have still got their schedule on anything just while they uh, while they heal up, while we make sure that they're not injured. Oh, no, the battery broke down already. The battery's already broken down. No. All right, well, power's really, really screwed then. Is there any sort of power production that doesn't require components? I don't believe so. No. Minimum, we need three components. Oh, God, or two components there for the wind turbine. Okay, this is really bad. I'm not going to lie, this is, this is not the most ideal situation. Let's rip these roofs off and obviously dig these walls up, dig the floors up and everything else first. Let's just focus on actual survival. Food and, food and plants and water, that's really what we've got to start with. So let's start with Operation Tidy up the base then. That's sort of the first sort of essential thing. I mean, we've got a little bit of food that should last us. Oh man, we've actually completely run out of food already. Shit, okay. Um, was that, sorry, does that say fibrous mechanites already? Oh, come on. Just, just Dave. Okay, it's just Dave. That's... Ugh, you're killing me. How, what are we going to do about food? This is the biggest one. What the hell are we going to do about food right now, then? Um, take plants and I'm saying, we're going to have to go out and find some food. Otherwise, we're just going to starve to death. Um, there might not even be any left on the map, you got to bear in mind. We might have to try and hunt an animal. Oh, God. Um, what happened to that Yorkshire Terror? Have we already eaten that? I feel like we've already eaten that poor little Yorkshire Terror. Okay. Um... This is a concern. We've got, like, a couple of berry bushes actually lying around. It's not fantastic, is it? But it's it's something. How much are they grown? Uh, 0%. Ready to, ready to harvest. We've got some berries, boys. It's not fantastic, but it is at least something. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Dave thinks you should give your faction a name. I'm going to call it the Winchester. Uh, no, wait. This can be called the Winchester. Our faction is going to be called... I have really no clue. Excellent. All right, there we go. That'll do. Perfect. Okay, so this is the Winchester. Hopefully, the salting's going to blow over, but, I mean, we're chance that we're going to starve to death any time now. Uh, should we set him up an actual schedule, then? How, how's there? How's he doing? Um... I mean, that's just dehydration and hunger rate and malnutrition. There's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. So let's get them up and working, then. We might as well at least try and get them to do something here rather than just lying around starving to death. They could at least be trying to work and starving to death, because that way we might be able to save ourselves. You guys are going to have to go out. We're going to have to send them out into the field. I hate to do it to them, because this is extremely dangerous. But with the power armor... We found a helmet, though, didn't we? Which I feel like I wasn't able to haul. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's a real shame. If we could get that. A helmet plus power armor. Um, who's in better shape? I mean, clearly Sean is. Um... Right, let's go. I'm sending, him, I'm sending him out. I'm sending him out. I hate to do it, but I'm, I'm abso absolutely going to send him out into the world here. So, Dave, if you could work on this, get this built as soon as possible, get it installed, and we'll try and find a way out of the base very quickly. This is not ideal, is it? Holy shit. Right, get that built, and then we'll reinstall it into here. Uh, let's get you working on that. Oh, shit, he's going to remove the wall first. Very risky. I love it. Okay, there we go. Shit. Well, that's not a fantastic start. Okay, uh, scratch from a zombie fist. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Right, there is a zombie right there. Do you want to clear a way? Maybe we want to build a bunch of these embrasures just down this south wall and then clear the way for, for all of the guys to get out here. What's our, most, what's our best building block right now? Nothing. Okay, um, we might have to dismantle some steel. What's this stuff? Limestone walls. Okay, we could dismantle that as well. I don't know what to do here. Um, let's think about this. So let's build another embrasure. That plan obviously didn't fucking work at all. We do have the replace mod, but I wasn't sure if they would do exactly what he did there. But now we know that he will do exactly what he did with the more cautious plan. Let's go for the less cautious plan. Nice. Okay. Well, from the looks of it, this street is actually clear right now. So I might just send him out. Okay, there we go. Good work. Um, I'd like a bigger vision on this, but there's not a huge amount we can do with the amount of blocks we've got left. Um, so let's go ahead and deconstruct these couple as well. Digging up all the floors is obviously speed things up, but we can't, we can't wait for that anymore. Um... How the fuck do we want to do this then? Uh, Dave, 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 Dave. Right, I think we're just going to have to risk it. Uninstall this wall. Uninstall the steel wall, Dave. Uh, right, now let's get it back being installed. Uh, work on that instantly, won't he? Forbid that, and the second Sean's about to come back in. Okay, let's ignore the zombies. Let's turn off fire at will. Let's just ignore him and go about your business. First thing we're going to do with Sean, go and get that helmet. That's going to make him invincible to these goddamn zombies, I think. Ooh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, Lord above. Okay, be very careful. Oh, God, what is that down there? It's a cow. It's a big old coo. Uh, oh, it's a dead person. What have you got? Uh, or a, a, a person who's dying. Ravenously hungry. Zombie bite, no infection risk. Fine. Uh, what's your gear? We've got flak pants. 
Just, just flat pants, okay? Nothing to worry about. Come and get this hat. Okay, he's got a helmet. He's got power armor. I think the zombie's gonna have a real tough time dealing with him now. Um, do we also want to wear the armor vest? Obviously, you can't, really. A sort of survival meal. That's what we're here for. We're here for food. Let's check out some of these buildings, then. Cautiously checks out... Is that cooler? Oh, wow, that's a cooler. Uh, there's no food in here, but that's a great start. Um... What do we do, then, in regards to... What do we do in regards to food? Do we want to grab this and start... I mean, we can put down a trade beacon. No, we need microelectronics for that. Um, <laughs> this sucks. Okay, uh, I might even grab this cooler. Or we could just deconstruct it and get the components out of this. That actually might be a better shout just to start off with here. You know what? Start working on that. At least we know this is safe and well defended. We haven't got to worry about zombies breaking in. Oh, God. One thing I'm concerned about is leaving our base so unattended as well. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Eat it. Eat. If you've got to eat that meal, eat it in here. Forbid that. Uh, let's go ahead. Claim it. Forbid it. Uh, claim it. Forbid it. Claim it. Forbid it. This is kind of a pain in the ass. I apologize. Right. There we go. Now, you, my friend, are going to sit here and you're going to eat your meal. Now, someone needs to keep an eye on the base. Because I'm concerned about right now that we've just left the front door open and we might have zombies by the boatload. So, you need to just sort of stand on duty, big brain. Okay. Um... And we also need to make sure that obviously they don't leave the base as well. Come and pick up these components. Right, that's four components. And that's a pretty fantastic start. We need more meals though. Meals are, the, meals are going to be the absolute main sort of concern I've got. As long as we stick to the buildings, the zombies shouldn't be much of a threat. Because they only break down the doors if they're agitated. So as long as we don't spend too long outside, it's not a concern. Um, so we've got the components. That's that doubt with again. Food was the sort of bigger concern here. Oh, careful, 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 careful. All right. Um, did you just say, I'll cry at your funeral? What the fuck? You're a psychopath, my man. Right, get inside. Work on that wall. What did he do? Oh, right, he actually has to finish off the wall. Go. What's he doing? What the fuck's he doing? Unloading inventory. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. We need to patch up this wall right now, my man. Holding still. Right, okay, thank you. I don't know why he started doing that. Right, so we're back to safety, at least. Um, it's, it's not incredible, but it is somewhat useful. Now, what do we do about food, then? Um, we've got a couple of berry bushes. Obviously, that's not even remotely close to being ideal, is it? Um, do we have any more inventory meals in people's inventories? Not at all. Wind turbine, I guess? Uh, we, we might as well start that immediately. Let's get Dave working on that with his, uh, with his gear. That should take no time at all. We can see a little bit of the zombies. I would love to replace the whole thing with the bridge, like I said. I want to work on the expansion, too, at some stage. Um, what do we do about food? Oh, we're out of steel, huh? I guess we'll have to deconstruct some of these walls then. Let's go ahead and force that one. How much more steel do we need? Shit tons. Wow, absolutely loads of the stuff. All right. Um, in that case, Dave, let's cancel the order to uninstall and let's just deconstruct. How much we got already? Uh, 17. We've got a bunch of steel doors as well, though, haven't we? So we could deconstruct those because those we're probably never going to use. Um, get rid of that one. Get rid of... Oh, that's everything. Man, this is, uh, this is a real, real problem, huh? These guys, don't get me wrong, we've got a little bit of food left, but it's not going to last us a huge amount of time, is it? Hopefully those berry bushes last a little bit longer. Oh, he's going to go consume them. Could we cook that into a meal? Would it be better to forbid that for the time being and cook it into a meal instead? Probably not a terrible plan. We might have to eat Big Brain. Okay, I'm, I wasn't going to say it, but we might have to eat Big Brain. We're going to have to pick and choose our favorite character, and I feel like they're going to get chomped. Because this, uh, this is really not going stunningly well in regards to the actual food aspect of things. Right, get working on that wind turbine. We might have food, but we've got power. And you know what? I'll take that. That's a great start. Stove's on. The stove is officially on. It's not fantastic, but it'll do. Uh, cook four simple meals. Do forever. And then if we unforbid these and just have... Who's, who's our cook? It's Sean, right? Um, how long is this stuff going to take to grow? 20% grown. We've only got the last couple more days. Need materials. Can we cook one simple meal? Because that's going to be a bit more nutritional than... Uh, okay, so cook forever. We cook one. Um, yes, we can. Oh, my God. We can cook and a meal. It's fine. I'll take it. We've only got the last couple more days anyway. I don't like these fires. That's not inspiring confidence. Let's um, let's also hoe the floor very quickly as well. That will increase our growing time. Not by a substantial amount, but at least by something. And, and, and any little we can get at this point will uh, will be fantastic. What I'm going to do before we start installing floors is actually remove all the old floors. Otherwise, it'll be a pain in the ass having to obviously go around the whole thing. Right, get all this stuff dug up as soon as possible. This will give us a whole bunch of resources as well. So I'll take that one. Thank you. Right, get all of this shit dug up. Everything that's not... You know, directly going to be part of the base. Um, wind turbine, we actually might want to keep the floor around that. Because, of course, that's going to provide the wind turbine or stop trees growing near the wind turbine. Let's dig all this shit up, though. And that we can turn into embrasures, try and build around most of the base there. And we can go for this expansion where we can try and get ourselves some raw materials. Shit, this is a problem. Um, <laughs> this, is a, this is a concern. Uh, please, fuck off fire. Okay, we're almost safe. We're almost safe. Just a little bit more, a little bit more firefighting. Dave's got inspired creativity. Dave... 
couldn't give a shit. I honestly couldn't give a shit, Dave. This is a real problem. Because that fire is not going to fucking stop. Um, risky place. I hate it, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I hate it, but I'm going to do it. Right, get out there and fight this fire. Knock this whole thing down. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Be very careful. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a zombie. Uh, Dave. Dave, big brain. Help me out here. Okay, quickly get that installed as soon as possible. Um, okay, they're actually in the base now. We, we, are, we, are, we have been compromised. The walls have been breached. Um, open fire. Sean should be the best man to have on the front line. So I'm going to stand him over here. Why is he avoiding that? Okay, come around here. That's it. Get him on the front line. No, what the fuck are this, what the fuck is this pathfinding though? Um, oh, because there's a zombie there. Right, okay, cool. Prioritize working on that wall. That's it. He's got to move that out of the way. What are you doing? Matt attacking. No, I don't give a shit about Matt. No, ignore. Ignore Matt. Work on the wall. Thank you. Right, okay. Sean can deal with that because he is a crack shot and he's got... Come on. Okay, no, not to worry. Not to worry. Problem solved. I think that was absolutely the right place to make there. Otherwise, we've been fighting fires all night. Okay, so Operation Grow Some Food is about to be into full swing. We've just got to wait for them to dig up this last little bit of flooring, and then we are going to tile this... Uh, sorry, till. Tile. We're going to till the whole thing. Tiling would not help with growing food. It's not very conducive. We're going to till the whole thing, and then we're just going to plant a shit ton of rice. And then after that, after we've got a cooler setup, we'll plant like a shit ton of potatoes or whatever. It's got the longest shelf life, really. Okay, um, get all of this stuff done as soon as possible, because, I mean, I really should have focused on this first. I will admit, one of the biggest faults of this... Bashing that door down. Not really a problem, though, because they obviously can't get into the base with that. Um, right, there we go. Okay. Then we've got to focus on, obviously, reclaiming this sort of forward area. So I think uh, definitely build it straight across there. What's it going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And then build across there for a, a roughly another seven blocks. Clear all this out, and then we can use this as a mining zone. So that way we can bring in a decent amount of components. That way if we get uh, sort of... Oh, Jesus, there are so many zombies. How can we see them? That way if we do get breakdowns, things like that in the future, we should be fine. What are we going to eat for the next couple of days? What the hell are we going to eat for the next couple of days? Can we eat wood? Uh, we've got berry bush. Uh, how much is that grown? 190% grown. 120% uh, growth rate. Right, okay. So we actually might be able to get one more handful of berries before things really go to shit. And that other building has provided a lot of resources, which is going to be necessary for building all the embrasures. Ideally, turning the entire outer wall into embrasures would be the would be the ultimate goal, right? That way, if we set them to ignore, whenever we are feeling threatened, whenever we're potentially under attack, we just flip over to or whenever we want to explore. I guess would be the main the main use of it. We flip them over to actually attack, and then we can gun and open a open up a hole in the wall, let Sean out, and then he can go out with his power armor and basically be untouched. But it's it's being overwhelmed by the horde that will really kill him off here. Farm's coming on nicely. I might have gone a little overboard with the farm, but I think the more food, the better, because we definitely don't want to end up in this situation again. We should be good. We should be fine for a couple more days. It's, it's certainly not fantastic at all. It's not the best scenario, but the rice shouldn't take only a couple more days to grow, and then I think we'll be fine. I might have sent him on another expedition to try and dig out something, though. Sean and Dave are starving, so I'm thinking we head over to this building block over here and see what we can find. I, I, I don't think we really have a choice at this stage, otherwise they're both just going to drop down dead. So let's get these two boys ready. Um, where do we even want to leave? I mean, we could leave out the south part of the base. Um, we can quite si clearly see what we're up against here as well. Let's clear it, clear a little bit of a path. There we go. This, these embrasures work really, really well for this, unless you shoot them and get us killed. Um, what have we got a bunch of? We've got a bunch of sandstone. So let's build a couple of sandstone embrasures as well to help really clear the way out here. Let's get a couple of these down. Let's try and get this whole south wall, if we can, replaced. I'm going to force him to work on that. He's probably going to starve to death. It's Jimmy can't eat zombies, right? Well, that seems like a pretty good way to get yourselves infected, huh? Um, start work on this one as well. That way we've got quite a nice amount of vision, too. Sandstone, obviously, a little bit more durable as well, so we don't have to worry too much about potentially destroying it with our own weapons there. Okay. Dave, how are you doing? How's your health looking like? You've got moderate malnutrition and also fiber and mechanized. Christ, okay. You know what? You go back to bed. Uh, malnutrition minus. So Sean's doing a little bit better here. Let's uninstall this. Good luck, because you're going to fucking need it, because we are going out into the uh, out into the lion's den a little bit here, huh? Get that squatted up to be reinstalled, and then let's uh, roll with it. So I'm going to say, turn off fire at will, and let's just go. Well, let's check this building. Start off with here, seeing as it's directly south. Oh, God, full of zombies, as per usual. Um, what if we go down here? Oh, no, that's bad. Okay. I changed my mind. Don't, no, no, go this way. Shit, there's a lot of them. All right. I already feel like this is starting to get a little bit fucky, I will admit. Um, all right. Fire it, Will. Oh, God. This has already gone a little bit. This has already gone a little bit awry. Luckily, he can kill him pretty good because he's got that power armor. Uh, he's apparently also just whacking him with the gun. Shit, he hasn't taken any damage yet, though. This power armor and helmet combo might have actually just saved this campaign for us, but don't forget he is, of course, still. Oh, they're raging. Shit. Uh, can you open fire at that one? Cannot shoot in melee. Oh, God. 
the, so the rage zombies do a lot more damage. They're the dangerous ones. But you know what? I think we're fine. So in hindsight, be a lot more careful. Be a lot, lot more careful. I wasn't expecting there to be that many zombies behind every door. But then, of course, we are at 485 zombies. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, get them away from the base. Get them away from the base. Move, move, move. Oh, shit. There are so fucking many. Oh, my God. They're absolutely everywhere. Don't know what I expected, really. But, uh... <laughs> okay. Um, we've got buildings up here. This is risky. Don't like this at all. Um, okay. Go back the way we came. That seems like a terrible plan, but all right. What about this building? We haven't been through here yet. There's a man outside. That's either great news or terrible news. She's eating a dead raccoon, which we could be eating. Okay. All right. Go through here. Nothing. Oh, fucking hell. Are we going to starve to death? Is this how this campaign's going to start here? And how are we looking in terms of the hole in the wall? Nothing to worry about, really. Okay. There is power over here, though, which is fairly interesting. Oh, good, good God. We are in zombie alley. They are raging. Run, 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 run. Okay, go in here. What's this? Shit, no. Sean's dead. Sean's absolutely gone. Um, You know what? He is running back to the base. You know what? He actually might be fine. In no way he's going to make that back. Uh, No, he is fucking dead, isn't he? Oh, my God. What am I supposed to do? We're all just going to fucking starve to death. We're actually all going to starve to death. Um, 86% growth rate, 22% grown. Oh, no. And he's got diarrhea. You know what? He might be fine. He might be fine. He's been scratched in the eye. Shit, this is so bad. Good luck, Sean. I mean, I, nothing, I'm not going to save him. Fuck it. Oh, my God. They're in the base as well. Um, This is fucking cursed. This is absolutely fucking cursed. Dave, get out there. Dave, get out there and try and stop him. Big Brain is trying to... Are you seriously tending to yourself in the middle of combat? I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm, I am absolutely livid that the game thought that that was a sensible thing to do. I don't know how to turn... What are you doing? Why are you... Oh, probably because we've got it set to ignore, huh? Um, I mean, if we don't set to ignore, they would try and shoot zombies through walls, which is why I've got it set to that. Um, fine. Let's try and clear them out. Let's patch up this hole in the wall. How's Sean doing? Um, somehow he's holding up, but he's been bitten. So, I mean, he could be completely fucked there. She's been bitten twice, so she might be infected. Patch up the hole in the wall. I feel like Sean might be a lost cause at this stage. Oh my god, he's actually going to make it home. He's actually going to make it home. Open the walls. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, okay, how do we do it? How do we do it? How do we do it? Should we put down a... Let's put down a door. Let's put down a door. Um, I feel like we're going to have to eat someone. I hate to say it. Someone, someone's getting eaten. Okay? Someone's getting fucking eaten. Deliver this door. Ah, uh, it's no longer binging. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. Uh, cancel. Don't matter. Don't matter anymore. Um, uninstall this. Uninstall. This is so good. We're actually going to live. Uh, uninstall, uninstall, uninstall. Get in the base, get in the base, get in the base. Big brain. Uh, get on, get on, get on shooting duty. Please don't shoot Sean in the head, though, because it's about the only thing that will bloody kill him at this point. Oh, great. Fucking great shot. Honestly, just absolutely impeccable. Um, squat, squat up, squat up, squat up, squat up, squat up. Get through the fucking wall. Thank you. Um, right, go through and work. Uh, nice. Oh, my God. He's actually done it. <laughs> <laughs> it was pointless, but we basically did all that for a helmet. We didn't find any food whatsoever, but oh, tasty Dave, lying in your bed. I'm sorry. The time has come. This is what I'm resorting to already. I'm sorry, Dave. It's either this or it's a full-blown game over. I'm not letting it happen. Sometimes in these zombies, it's what he would have wanted. It's, you know, it's what he would have wanted. Oh, I'm inside you now, Sean. That's what he would be saying as we're horribly chomping down on him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dave. Dave, I'm so sorry. He's got fibrous mechanites as well. Just just get, get rid of him. Out, euthanize him. Where is the euthanize button? Uh, euthanize by cut. I, I, I think he'd want, he'd want Sean to do it. Sorry, mate. We thought we could we thought you could carry it to the end. It's okay. It's okay, Sean. It's all right. I know I know where my place is. It's all right. I can go go see mum now. Oh, God. That's getting a bit dark, in it? Right. Take him, take him down. Goodbye, Dave. Nice knowing you. Oh, man. This is a tragic. Big brain. I had to go wait outside because she feel like she didn't want to be part of this. He's gone. Goodbye, Dave. And now it's time. It's time for the cook-off, boys. Butcher creature. Details. Allow all. Let's get to it. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. Tasty, tasty Dave. Butcher creature at spot. You know what? If you don't like it, you got to fucking deal with it. This is survival. This is survival right here. Sean. Sean. Butcher Dave. I know you don't want to do it, my man, but it's so necessary. The, all his gear was tainted anyway, so don't worry about me stripping the power armor and it not being tainted. It was all, it was all tainted. Sean. Butcher Dave. He's, he's making excuses. Oh, I'm so tired. I just need to lie down for a minute. Do it. Oh, no. Big Ren's gone berserk. She's gone berserk. Don't butcher. Don't butcher. Cook, don't, cook their meals. Drop them on the floor. We got 23 meat out of them. No, that's not enough. It's not enough. 
Give me the material. It's not enough. Dave didn't have enough meat on him. Oh, no. He's going to have to go and eat Dave. At least leave some for... Take take ten. You can eat ten, right? That's that's all we need. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Okay, go and eat Dave. Oh, man. This is tragic. It might just be Sean. It might just be Sean on his own. Because Big Brain is going to... She's going to die of malnutrition as well in a second. Bit of tasty Dave there. Nothing to worry about. Um, his nose has been shattered. Uh, oh my god, he only got scratched in the right eye. He's actually at no danger whatsoever. Holy shit. Self-tend? You can doctor now, my man. Uh, you already can doctor, apparently. Right, tend to yourself. She's just going berserk. She's going berserk. I don't know why. Dave made such a sacrifice for you, you selfish shit. Wow. Was Dave tasty, at least? Uh, raw cannabis, minus 20. No. No, it was not. And Big Brain's gonna go get a little bit of Dave as well. You know what? Sean put in the effort. He deserves he deserves the uh, most of the Dave meat. You know what? You can have that. Sean, go, 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 go to bed. Go to bed. What are you doing? Defecating in the open. You know, shit in the kitchen. This is what we've become now. It's one thing to eat your mate, Dave, but it's another thing to shit in the fucking kitchen. Get yourself a drink. Get yourself a drink and honestly have the next few days off. I think I think you're gonna need it at this point. My god. What a what have we become already, episode two? <laughs> we've eaten a third of the colonists. <laughs> <laughs> there is some serious shit going on outside these walls. Like, zombies just being ripped apart by something. This must be the man-eating walk pack or something. But that, to me, sounds like dinner. Um, let's stick down an embrasure in here, then. Um, Sean, uh, who's capable of working on this? Oh, God. Um, you know what? You carry on with the farm for what it's bloody worth. Carry on with it, honestly. Um, Sean, you're awake. You're praying. It's too late for that. We're already past that point. Let's put down an embrasure, because if there are any bodies out there, we are absolutely going to go out and eat them all. What what can we see? What do your alpha eyes see? Come stand there. Nothing. Seriously? Nothing? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, put another one there. There's clearly blood everywhere. Something's killed these things. There's actually nothing, huh? Um, okay. And then we'll try and put another embrasure down over here, just to get a little bit of vision, I guess. Um, start work on those, my man. There you go. Start work on that. Now, how long we can cut the rice... That won't give us food yet, though, will it? Wait, maybe it will. 63% grown. I have no idea. Oh, it's the insects. Right, okay. Well, eating those would obviously... It's better than starving to death, but it's still not fantastic. I'm going to go Google how much we would actually get if we were to cut this now. I think if they need to be 70, 75% grown, it's not something like that before they're ready. So what we've got to do is hold out, I mean, essentially till tomorrow, and then we might be okay. But the issue is he's already got severe malnutrition. We're going to have to... This is going to be so close. This is literally going to be down to the wire about whether or not we're going to be able to... Whether we're, we're going to be able to get any food. I'm going to very quickly build some more embrasures. Because if we can risk going out there... I mean, we see the exclamation marks for where there are insects. Oh, God. I don't want to be eating insects, though. But we might have a fucking choice at this stage, huh? Um, okay, let's get, some, let's get some walls down here as well. Go and Just go and take a quick look. Just go and take a quick look. Here we go. This sucks. This sucks. I really wish we'd have found so much more food during that first episode. Then we wouldn't have to have eaten Dave. But also, if we'd have found food in the first episode, we wouldn't have had to eat Dave. And honestly, it's kind of funny. Um, oh, there are insects. Oh, man. This is what we've got up to, huh? Fine. It's better than nothing. It's better than, honestly, eating insect. It's better than nothing. Right, quickly. Uh, finish off. Go, go, be, be quick. Now, all the zombies in this area should be dead, in theory. Prioritize hauling. Get it into the base. And then just squat up. Oh, no, he's dropped. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Big brain, not now. Oh, this is... This might be it. This actually might be it. Um, she's gone. She's just fucking gone. Okay. Um, this might be the end. Oh, my God. She actually found some food, to be fair. This might be the end. So much for big brain, huh? Fucking name like big brain. You think she'd be able to play in Hoopstone? She got high, and now she's going to the other side of the map to do what? This is so ridiculous. To go and play Hoopstone while high. Incredible. Well, let's hope that she doesn't get killed entirely. She actually might not. She's surviving pretty well. We might be down to just Big Brain. I hate to say it. Please. Please snap out of it. Snorting Yayo as well. Are you fucking kidding me? This is the point you've got up to. Wandering. Please rescue Sean. There's literally something you can eat right next to him. Please, Big Brain. Just come out of this mental breakdown. He's gone. He's fucking gone. Just as she comes off her psychite binge. Get back to this base right now. Get back to this base right now. What is she attacking people? You're not allowed to attack people. I've clearly set to ignore. Run, 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 run. Run as fast as your little legs will carry you. Get this wall installed. And then we are only big brain now. What is she doing? What the fuck are you doing? What is she doing? Oh, dude, fucking game, honestly, sometimes makes me want to... Shit. Right, drop. Put that down. Prioritize delivering. 
Thank you. That's all it took. That's all I wanted her to do. I don't want her to fuck around, run around the entire goddamn base. Eat that scarab. Eat that raw scarab right now. Don't be sad. Why, why did she not eat it? She's not eating it. Oh, maybe I made her eat too much of it. Maybe it's more than one meal. Oh, I never even considered that. Fine. We are now just big brain. We've lost Sean. Sean was my favorite character. Um, well, we can't let him go to waste. Can't let him go to waste. Get him into the... I mean, this we could turn into a freezer, I guess, now. Because we've apparently got suddenly 60 or 70 spare fucking bedrooms. Right, okay. Um, Real cursed. Real cursed. I thought we were going to have two surviving people, but I guess not. Right. Uh, corpses. Boom. There you go. Let's get Sean into the freezer. And then I guess we'll uh, guess we'll cook him up in a minute. This is so sad. This is so... Episode... Episode 2. And we have eaten every other colonist. <laughs> um, we taking that food, though. We, we put that fit. I should turn this into a freezer and That would make way, way more sense. Okay. Expand zone. Put this over here. This is a, this is a, this is a freezer now. Um, critical. Allow all. Let's go clear all. Let's just allow food and any old corpses, I guess. Okay. Could put that human meat back. Could put that human meat. That's, that's essential human meat. We need that, big brain. Okay. If anybody can survive, I always, I, it was always my money was on big brain. I'm going to be honest. Oh, I, I said from the start, did I not say it yesterday? Only Big Brain is going to survive tomorrow's episode. I said that out loud, uh, or I might have just said it in my mind. But either way, it's come true. So you can't say I'm a bad room or player when I make such accurate pre pr predictions like that. Um, right, details. Excuse me. Allow all meats. Why are you biased against human meat? And cook yourself up some tasty, tasty meals. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's some good shit right there. Um, this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I'm going to I'm gonna call it. I'm, I'm chalking this one up as a loss. I think we will leave this colony here, and I think tomorrow I'm going to have to start fresh, but we haven't seen the end of Big Brain. If I'll, 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 I'm going to try my hardest to get her out of the map, if we can get to the map edge and get out of here, I will bring her back to tomorrow's three new colonists. She will be one of the three new colonists with maybe some scarring, you know, maybe she could be missing some uh, some parts of her to, to show her her more rugged nature, maybe took on a couple of years onto her age to show her survivalness in the world, and I think we've got to add Psychopath and Cannibal at this stage, haven't we? That's not even arguable. We'll nerf her down a little bit, but we'll keep her as our next colonist. At the end of the day, this this has to be entertaining and watchable for you guys, and I think watching Big Brain do absolutely everything for hours a day could be a real struggle, so let's give her a proper send-off, and again, if she survives, she's coming right back anyway, so for those of you who are, who are attached to Big Brain, don't worry about it. I'm going to try my best to get her out of this fucking doomed map. There's too much, there's too much cursed, t cursed things here. Okay, let's go. World map. Which is going to be the safest way out? Actually, let's assess that to start off with here. I'm thinking we just run straight down this road, straight down this road, and fucking bail. I think that's exactly the best place. So let's go to the world map. We're going to say, form caravan, and we are fucking gone. Set her, take nothing with her. Nothing with her. Choose route immediately out of the city. If we can get her out of here alive, we're bringing her back tomorrow. If she dies here, we get three new colonists. Let's do it. Good luck, big brain. Good luck, big brain. Let's squad you up. Right, no firing at will. Avoid, 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 avoid. Oh, God, it's on us. It's on us. Now, worst case scenario is we hit a massive horde here. Best case scenario is we're fucking gone. What's she doing? Form a caravan wandering. Go! Leave! 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 Oh, my God, she's still got more places to go. Oh, she's got to go all the way over here. Oh, no. Okay, uh, zombies. Okay, we're fine. Now, we know there's a massive zombie hole that's spawned in here. She's actually gone. Well, that was the second attempt. I think we can all safely say massive fail. What do we need to do for next time? Food. A absolutely food immediately forever. But Big Brain will be back. And I'm looking forward to seeing some more of her adventures. The, the, the spirits of Sean and Dave live on in her large intestine. Thank you all for watching. This has been a weird episode, and I apologize for um, everybody starving to death. It was a little anticlimactic, huh? But hey, at least we got to eat some people. That's always a good thing. Thank you to Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kurato, Aunt Moses, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Donald, Faguna Vasquez, Fluffinutter, Utter, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nat Buskers 911, Nathan Flores, Necrofellum, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Scan, Somnus, Shayok Sinclair, Stannis the Manus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tonte, 18, Talikendo, Bacchus Bacchus, and William Green. Thank you for your support and sending lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you for providing names. Speaking of which, we will need two more names for tomorrow because I know people probably don't watch this far. I will stick those names uh, or, I'll, or I'll ask for a comment in the... Uh, well, how am I going to do this without doing spoilers? 
I guess I'll wait for the video to be up for a couple of hours, then I'll put a big old spoiler tag and say, hey, leave me your names, and then we can uh, suggest some fresh ones. Thank you as well to Asro, Adam Person, Aiden W, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Esmos Max, Beta Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunk Honey 2 and 7, Easier to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gompo, Grey, Haji Damar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, I See the Great, Irish, Israel, Isaac Burrows, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yon DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pants, Hermie, Panther Pell, Peyton Denisar, Payback 137, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Smirtworm, Talad, The Bloody Knight, Belonkery, Buddha Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Wilson, Atef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for round three.